Good morning, Eagle Nation. It is 8.31 a.m. Office Standard Time. It's the 172nd day of school. It's a Friday. Thank goodness we've made it this far. Wherever you may be, please stop, please stand, and let us rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Hope you're dressed for success on this Friday. That means jeans and shorts without shreds or tears. We thank you for keeping school culture strong. We're semi-formal at school because we got a job to do. I want to say a couple of things. One, thank you to Dr. Music and to um, the fifth and sixth grade students who performed yesterday. Thank you also to um, Ms. Ramos who performed yesterday and to Ms. Ewan uh, who presented for us yesterday. Thank you to Liliana Castillo who also shared with us her sentiments um, regarding No Place for Hate Student Council and our vision forward for Emerson as a place of diversity and inclusion. And not just, as Dr. Music put it, not just a tolerance for other people who are different, but a celebration and an appreciation for people who are different and for how people are different from one another. So thank you for that. We'll have the continued remembrance with the Peace Poll. Thank you for that, Dr. Music, and all of you. Also, that song that you just heard was a song dedication. Give me a moment here. It was a song dedication to Ms. Carnegie. That was to you, Ms. Carnegie. It was a song dedicated as we close out school support staff week. That was a song dedicated by Brzeda to you. She said, I would like to dedicate this song to Ms. Carnegie because she's a very good teacher and substitute. I agree. And thank you, Brzeda, for that song dedication. And thank you, Ms. Carnegie, for all you do to support us at Emerson. As we close out this week, I want to say thank you one more time to all of these folks. To our social worker, Ms. DeGay, to Mr. Pucci, our school psychologist, to our instructional assistants, Mr. Mike, Ms. Roxana, Ms. Kathy, Ms. Anna, Ms. Noemi, Mr. Marcos, Mr. Ian, Mr. Victor, Ms. Violet, Ms. Aurelia, Ms. Diana, Ms. Jasmine, Ms. Maria, and Ms. Ava for all they do. I want to say thank you to our peer staff, Ms. Dahlia, Ms. Priscilla, and Mr. Jesse whose last day will be with us today. Jesse, we thank you and we will miss you. To our custodians, Ms. Lily, Mr. Austin, and Ms. Maria. To our crossing guard, Ms. Laura Valdenegro. And to our permanent building subs, Ms. Kim, Mr. Gary, and Ms. Kay. We could not and we cannot do this work without you. We thank you so much for all you contributed to our school this year, this spring, every day, and all the way to the very end. Thank you. Some things that are going on. Let's see. Let's take you to PBIS and be remembered that as we close this week out with respect to how we are being caring this week. We're being caring by reporting. Report any problems to an adult or teacher. Know that we are here to help. Also, I thought since it was or is Asian Pacific Heritage Month, that I would share something with you on Air Guitar Friday, but we're exchanging our guitars for sitars. So today is Air Sitar Friday, and I want to share a song with you that maybe you will recognize. It goes like this. That song will probably cause this video to shut down for copyright infringement laws, but I want you to know that is a song that was recorded in 1965 by the Beatles during the British invasion. It's a song that they recorded called Norwegian Wood, and in, wit in which George Harrison, the lead guitarist for the Beatles, trades out his guitar for a sitar. And the sitar was an instrument, a stringed instrument, that was invented in the subcontinent of India over 500 years ago. And so, I have a video posted for you below this if you'd like to check that out. 
Asian Pacific influences have been reaching into pop culture in Britain, America, and around the globe for a long, long time. Today, we celebrate just one of those many examples. Hope you enjoy it. And now some words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning. It's about choices. And we've got some choices for you. Specifically, we have four if you're in fourth through eighth grade, meaning going into fourth through eighth grade. We have Summer Mural Fest Camp. We've got six artists lined up to work with you to paint a mural on walls at Emerson. That's pretty cool. Check it out. Sign up if you haven't done so already. We've got at least six people who have signed up, six artists and six students. In addition to that, we have Desert Design Camp. If you'd like to get your hands in the dirt, work with plants, uh, and learn about desert landscaping. And we're going to create some on Emerson's campus. In addition to that, we have Phoenix Youth Circus Arts. Join the circus. Why wouldn't you? And finally, we have Coding and Web Camp. Again, it's open to all incoming 4th through 8th graders. If you haven't signed up, do so quickly because on Monday, we're going to open it up to the broader district and anybody in Phoenix Elementary School District can join our camps. But we'd like to give preference to Emerson students. Sign up quickly so that you can ensure your slot. Now, back to our message about choices. Summer vacation's coming, and you know it. It can be one of the most special times of life. Many times you'll stay up later, you'll sleep later, and spend more time with friends and travel to visit relatives. Safely, of course. No school can mean a lot more freedom. The question is this. What are you going to do with all the extra time and freedom? What choices are you going to make? Are you signed up for the Freshman Academy if you're going into ninth grade? Some of the most important choices we ever make in life, we make on summer vacation. Because all that free time opens up so many more opportunities, both good and bad. So this summer, as we look ahead, start off by making a really smart choice. Choose some positive goals for the summer. Set a goal for the number of books you will read, or how you will write in your journal, or how much exercise you will get, or which summer camp you'll sign up for. Start your summer vacation off on a positive note. Promise yourself that you'll make good use of your time. Make wise choices and say no to any negative peer pressure right from the beginning. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lodato. Make it a great day or not. Make it a great weekend or not. Once you get there at 3.30, the choice is yours.